this is my guide to Victoria's Secret Angel Makeup. Okay, I have some bad news. It's not actually a Vogue Beauty Secrets video, I know, but I'm literally just a girl, so everything I do, I have one of these on in the background, and I love it. So today, I just woke up and decided to do my own because I love them, and Victoria's Secret Angel Makeup is very popular at the moment because they're very bronzed, airbrushed, yet they don't have too much makeup on that it looks cakey, and I want to try and achieve that, and I also want to try brightness down a bit because, Jesus Christ, what was that placement? Oh, I'm out of breath. Okay, we're going to start with skincare. I have this lovely little Chanel skincare bag. Oh my God, it looks really dirty on camera. I promise it's not. I tried my best to keep it clean. The first thing that I'm going to use is this Olay Moisturizer in Serum Duel. It's not so hot. They haven't it on. Okay, it's already in my hair. Lovely start to the video. But I actually don't wear makeup every single day. Mainly because the process is just so long and I'm so lazy. So perhaps to anyone who does. But today I'm just really excited because I get to unleash all my creativity. I get to look like an old Victoria's Secret model. Maybe, maybe. Hopefully it works out. These clips are scum. They've done that and it's still my hair. Now I'm going to use the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. I like it. I think it's quite good. I think it's one of like the trendy skincare products that aren't actually overrated. Because I've noticed that my skin is a that glowier it's a lot healthier at the time i'm filming it's literally christmas eve 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 which is so fun isn't it? i love christmas i've literally searched high low in this house for my primer and i cannot find it so i'm just going to go straight in with the concealer i'm definitely a little bit pale right now because i'm vouching right not to wear tan until christmas eve so it's lovely and smooth but i've had to make a sacrifice you know a lovely tan skin it's been a struggle because I have a lot going on and I just hate going out pale. You know what, we push through, okay? And yes, I blend the concealer with my fingers. What about it? Okay, I literally look like Casper the Ghost in person. It's really bad, but don't worry because I am going to balance it out with foundation and bronzer. Okay, so how's the life, everybody? Like, I do look like Voldemort, but, you know, life's not too bad. I'm very excited that in, like, seven days, I'm an official teenager. Woohoo! And in three days, I become a professional YouTuber because I get my camera. I might leave the foundation because I don't want it to be all too caked on and look too false. So I think I might leave that and still do bronzer and contour. I have this little lift and sculpt contour palette. I think it's definitely older than me, but it's done me well through the years, so. But nothing came off the brush, hold on. I think I have a darker contour, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I picked up this little Halo Glow contour. I'm hoping it works. Okay, it's one of these ones. I'm actually excited, hold on. Okay, it's about the arc. Oh, I think that's quite nice. Definitely an improvement. I'm gonna try the nose as well. Okay, let's blend. I mean, I love that. It's really like subtle, but that's where I wanted it. I'm happy. Okay, next I have this little cream blush. I'm hoping that's not too much. Or too little. I think you're supposed to do dots. Okay. Maybe one side's gonna be a little bit better than the other. One thing about me and makeup is I don't know what brush to use for anything. Like, I don't even know how these brushes I'm using right now are the right ones. Okay, I feel like it looks nice so far. Now, for the bronzer, I'm hoping I don't go too dark because I always go too dark because you know where I love my tan, right? This is Clinic. Why did I say it like that? Clinic. Right. Oh, that's too dark. No, do that. I'm going to try and sculpt the brows out a little bit. Okay, I don't even know that made a difference, but I think it went okay. I hate going over my brows too much. I feel like I already did. Now for eyeshadow, I want to talk plans about the new year. What is everybody getting up to in 2024? What's everybody's new year's resolution? And my second new year's resolution, or maybe like goal for 2024, is I want to get monetized on YouTube. So get my watch hours up. I'm already there, but the subscribers will almost are only need 40 more. So if you just want to like sit through and binge my YouTube videos, I would love that. Their eyeshadow isn't really anything too crazy. Okay, now I want to do a nice little gold glow. Cute! The only thing missing is that lovely little pinky hue around the top. Okay, I think I'm definitely going more Candace Swamp Hood than Adriana Lima. If I wanted to go more Adriana Lima, I think the eyeshadow would be a little bit darker and she also has the black waterline, which I'm going to try and do. Let's try and do this without looking like Jenny Humphrey. Okay, not too bad. It's worse. They made her emo. Now it's my favourite bit of all time. When I say eyeshadow is my favourite bit, I love mascara. I've had the lady like five times, so get stuff while I'm not just come apart. But next, I'm doing mascara. I think another New Year's resolution is I'm varying lashes, girl. I wear them everywhere, but that's something I want to stop doing in the New Year. So I want to maybe wear them when I go out, which is not the skin and everything like I was. Okay. Oops. Next, I'm using Sky High mascara. I will literally swear by this girl. I love her. I do like the double up mascara, so this one is called Falsy Surreal, and the Falsies. Sky High, obviously it is Sky High, but it makes them really tall. These make them really bold and nice. Okay, now for some very last minute highlighter. 
Now I have some lip gloss, which it used to be clear, but my friends over me decided to put some lipstick in it, so it was tinted, and it actually works quite well, so thank you, Sophie. This is the final makeup. I don't know if it's given Victoria's Secret Angel, but I think it looks nice. I'm just after filming a TikTok, so go like that. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, because maybe I will get the chance to do an actual Vogue Beauty Secrets video sometime in the future, you never know. Thank you so much for watching, and definitely tune into my vlogmas and my birthday vlog coming soon. Now I have to go and clean up the big mess I made with all the makeup, but I hope you enjoyed. Bye! Bye.